I'm Debbie from the home of interiors.co.uk and this video is going to talk you through the really exciting new bay window curtain pole solution from Rolls Neo that has been designed for eyelet curtains. This is really exciting for the curtain pole industry as we get so many people phoning us that have eyelet curtains and a bay window and are looking for a curtain pole and up to now we haven't been able to offer them a solution. Um, but thanks to the development um, and the research at Rolls Neo, we now have a fantastic bay window curtain pole solution suitable for eyelets um, that is suitable for heavyweight curtains. So it's great news for the industry. Um, this is the brochure um, that talks you through the full um, range and how the products work um, and it's available to download on our website. So please take a look um, for more information in the brochure. This new bay window curtain pole is however only suitable for three-sided bays for eyelet curtains. If you have a five-sided bay, you will need curtains that have curtain rings as extra support and pass-over brackets will be needed in the additional corners. Um, please see our separate video that will talk you through the old Neo bay window curtain pole and the new one. Um, you can use the new corner piece on, with the pass-over brackets on the old system um, but again, please refer to the video as there's a full explanation between the differences. So this new um, bay window curtain pole is available in a 28mm and a 35mm diameter and it's, and it's available in all the neo metal curtain pole finishes. So you have the stainless steel, the chrome, the spun brass and the black nickel. Um, all of the Neo finials are also available um, for use on the pole. So you've got the Neo original finials, the Neo style, the Neo oak and the Neo premium. Um, so you can you have a, a combination of whichever finials um, you want at the end of the poles. We have set the product up to be suitable for 480 centimetre bay windows. So you get a 240 centimetre single piece pole for the middle section of your bay and two 120 centimetre poles for both sides. However, the Neo poles are available in 120 centimetre, 150, 180, a 240 and a 300 centimetre pole as single pole lengths. So if you need a different pole configuration, please let us know, please get in touch and um, we can give you a bespoke quotation for the size of your bespoke bay. On the website, we have also set the product up to be suitable for lightweight curtains, and these would be curtains up to 8 kilograms for the pair. Um, typically, these are very light fabrics, they're not lined, they're not interlined, um, or the boils. Um, and on the lightweight option, you just get one end bracket um, for your bay window curtain pole. For all other weights, um, you get the two um, end brackets for both ends. Um, these brackets are solid die cast and they're absolutely fantastic on a weight capacity. Um, they've been tested, it is recommended um, that you use the system with the two end brackets as these have been tested for curtains that weigh up to 30 kilograms per pair um, on a 135 degree um, bend. So they really, really are absolutely fantastic and have um, superior weight capability than any, any bay window curtain poles on the market historically. For all poles, you will receive um, a centre bracket um, to support the pole in the middle of the middle section of the bay. And these centre brackets have been designed really nicely. They're a nice, simple, um, discreet um, centre bracket. And um, they've got these magnetic plates um, that just cover the, the fixings. Um, so really just, you know, just give you a lovely, nice finish to the, to the look. The 26 centimetre corner piece, um, you'll get two of these, one for each corner, and these adjoining pieces fit inside the corner piece. Please note you do need to twist them in. If you push them, there is just a slight chance that the, the rubber rings will just slide up. So it's just a nice twist action and it just twists in really nicely and easily. The pole twists onto the other end of the connecting piece um, like that. As I say, please note it's just a twist action for both the pole and fitting the connected piece into the corner piece. With regards to the um, corner piece, it is recommended that you bend it over your knee. Um, the pole is, has got sort of little grooves where it's been cut to enable it to be bent. So please just put a tea towel or some sort of fabric over your knee just to, say, just to make sure that the, um, you know, the little grooves don't pinch your skin. Um, but the, the product is, is very easy to bend. 
Um, once it's been bent, it hasn't been designed to be bent and straightened and bent and straightened. Um, so please just try and bend it once, roughly to the angle of your window. This cut section of pole needs to face inwards, so if, um, towards the bay. So please make sure it is bent the right way. Again, if you bend it the wrong way and then straighten it and try and bend it the other way, um, you probably will get a crease line and it will damage the corner piece. So please just make sure that you're bending it the right way with the grooves facing inside the bay. So here is a corner piece that has been bent to 90 degrees. And the best piece of advice with regards to the bending is bend it as accurately as you can to the corner of your bay. Um, and then position it on the floor or on the windowsill or at the wall just to check the, whether the angle is right or not. Um, if it isn't quite right, don't worry, there will be a little bit of give in it when you connect it to the straight poles. Um, so as you connect it to the poles, it will just give slightly um, and can, you know, just to, um, to give that perfect curve then around your, your, your bend. With regards to the brackets, um, just a little hint on the grub screws. So the grub screws come in the fixing pack. So find the two little grub screws for each bracket um, and then fix those into place. The easiest way to do that is to pop your finger inside the bracket, push the grub screw in and then just tighten it with the Allen key until you can feel the grub screw coming through the other side. As soon as you can feel it, stop. Um, and then it can be tightened and once the pole is in position um, to secure the pole and clamp the pole into, into place. If you push the grub screws in too far into the bracket, there is a risk that they could scratch the pole as you push the poles into the bracket. So please just pop your finger in and just stop as soon as you feel the grub screw coming through the other side. And that's enough just to get your pole in and then you can tighten them once it's all installed and in position. With regards to the centre bracket, um, it is recommended that we will need two people um, to install it. It's not a difficult job, it's not complicated, it just needs the two, the two people. Um, because the, it will be a single length pole that you're positioning in the middle of your bay, so the pole has to go into the bracket before you can put it, fix it to the wall. So you'll just need somebody to hold the pole um, in, in place while the other person then tightens the screws and fixes the bracket to the wall. The pole on the website can be ordered with or without rings, so if you've got eyelet curtains, obviously order it without the rings. We recommend a 40mm eyelet is used on a 28mm pole and a 50mm eyelet on a 35mm pole. With regards to where to position the rings or the eyelets, if you are using the pole with the one end bracket for lightweight curtains, simply a curtain ring is positioned next to the finial on the other side of the bracket and that's the same for the eyelet so one eyelet near the finial and all the rest to follow on the uh, on the rest of the pole if you're using the pole for all curtain weights with the recommended two end brackets um, for curtain rings you position a curtain ring next to the finial one in the middle of the two brackets with the rest to follow on the rest of the pole um, eyelet there's two options um, and it really depends on the fullness of your curtain. So if you've got really thick ball curtains, you could position one eyelet next to the finial, two eyelets in the middle with the rest to follow on the pole. However, if your fabric is a little bit more restricted and you haven't quite got the, the fullness in the curtains, you can put one eyelet at the, um, next to the finial and then the other eyelets all to follow this side of the bracket. And we've just got a couple of photos now to show you the two options. So the first photograph shows the option um, with full curtains, with an eyelet next to the finial, two in the middle, and the rest to follow on the, the pole. And the second photo shows less full curtains, with an eyelet next to the finial, and then the other side of the two brackets, with the, with the rest of the eyelets to follow. Okay, here's one I've made earlier to show you what the made-up um, curtain pole will look like. Um, so if I just lift it up, you should be able to see the two end brackets. Don't forget if you're ordering it for lightweight curtains, you would just get one end bracket. Um, and then the centre bracket at the, this, this side of the, um, the pole. And then this has now been bent to a 90 degree um, bay corner. As previously advised, the brochure and the fitting instructions are downloadable on our website. So please do have a look through and download the brochures. Um, if you have any questions or any queries, please call us on 01590 615 775 or email sales at Likewise, if your bay window is a different size um, to the 480cm um, set that we've put on the website, 
please call us um, and we can um, give you a bespoke quote for alternative um, pole lengths. We hope you found this video informative and useful. If you have, please do give us a thumbs up and pop any comments um, in the box below. Please subscribe to our channel over here and our full playlist is over here if there's any other videos that you'd like to see. Thank you for watching.